Hey everyone, welcome back to It Tastes Different Gameplay. <clears throat> We're back with Sense. A cyberpunk ghost story. So let's continue. Okay, so yeah, let's do our quick save. Because we, we were in front of the door. Yeah, this is where we were. Okay, so we know we can hide inside this room because it has the uh, foo thing on there or whatever it is the Josh sticks or but there is a ghost somewhere down this hallway um, waiting for us and the intercom that's a mirror 204 what is 204 I'm trying to remember oh right so 204 required us to have a lot of stuff we don't have. Can I grab that one off? No, I can't. Okay. And then the elevator. So, yeah, there was something. The door's locked. It's locked. There was something about the room down below. Yeah. We need to go down to see if there's apartment keys. Now there's the dude with the broken neck and the head wound down here. But we need to go into... I don't know where he went, but we need to go into here. All right tool. Use the screwdriver. Okay, yeah, we grabbed the screwdriver. That was right. Hmm. It's filled with notes and papers. Actually, one of the papers has a key drawn on it. It's a list of numbers labeled Keysmith. This must be the map I need for the Keysmith machine upstairs. All right. What about the third drawer? Doesn't fit. Multiple locks on one cabinet. So, yeah, there's nothing else. All right, so we got what we needed. So we need to head back upstairs. Where's Mr. Headwound? He's clearly not... He's... Okay. So, this one... No. Over here. This room. Is where the keysmith is. Of course, that one lady was in the hallway. Well, I could probably make a new key for apartment 206. So... I can find a note with the code around here somewhere. What? Didn't we find a... Hold on. Don't we have a note? That we found... What? No. What happened to that note we found? Image near phone one two oh four. That doesn't do anything for us. Journal inventory. A ripped piece of paper nine and six are clearly visible. Yeah, here we go. The instructions for the Keysmith machine. Must must have one for repairing or replacing keys. Right. So is that not the code that we're looking for? Yeah, we saw that. Okay, so we have those two things. Oh, you know there was still more stuff in the in the in the. Uh, interesting. One of the notes is ripped. It matches the paper I found. The crawl space it matches is a four-digit number nine six one five. I'm sure, this is important. I'll hang on to it for. So is this the key code to this? Oh shoot! What was it? Nine. It was. Well, that's weird. Is nine six one five? Nine six one five. Aha! Okay, first things first. I'll need to figure out what the key's design is. There's got to be a map for each apartment key. I should check the leasing office of the manager of apartment two hundred one. I need to know what key two. Uh, I need to know what the two hundred six key looks like to make a duplicate. Okay, now I just need the molten. Need molten metal. Molten, me molten, me there's no way anyone. <laughs> uh, 
they around here, but cooking equipment and and a metal uh, with a low melting point will work. Okay, so the stove is still on, right? I can use the stove to melt down some metal to make a key. I just need an iron cooking pan and something to melt. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was that box that was over there. That's right. I mean, where am I going to find some metal to melt? I I don't know where any metal was. Uh, I don't want to go back in this crawl space, though. I'm going to I'm going to quick save it real quick. And we're going to go in this crawl space because I didn't get to I didn't get to uh, check everything that was in here. And the, the, that one lady's in here. But, you know, yeah, see, it's giving me the little run. Is that the dodge meter? Is that the run meter? I can only run so far when there's crazy ghost lady in here oh and there she is old smacky cracky where's she at just a plastic crate oh that's that dude I thought it was a chick Ugh, that thing is gross looking can I get around it though that's the problem I don't think I can all right let's go check the hallway and then if we don't find anything else then we'll come back because I don't know and then that one lady's out here somewhere. Maybe. Is she going to come out here at some point? There's even some Josh sticks. Okay. And I can't enter 201. It says the leasing office may have one but we went down the leasing office there's nothing in there except for there's that one drawer that we can't get into that has multiple locks yeah okay see I got the run meter here so for it's not going down when I run so that must mean that there's no ghost in this area All right, um, let's go down this side of the hallway real quick, just to check and see if there's anything at all. Apartment 205. What about this thing? What is that thing on the table? I can't interact with it. And that's 206, which I need the key for. Okay. Let's see if there's a way to dodge this ghost. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Is we gotta dodge this ghost. There's gotta be metal in there. Or a melting pan or something. Alright. Let's see. Maybe if I just run past him when he's coming, I'll just do it. And then there was a dodge move, right? Before there was a dodge. Oh, I can just run past him. Ah! Oh, seriously? There's nothing else in here? Oh, great. Some. Balls like this might come in handy, but I can't pick them up. It's just a plastic crate. Take the coin back. Oh, I put the coin in it? Oh, the coin! I can melt down the coin! Right? What happened to the ghost? I juked him and now he's gone? There's a pan, like, right there. I need an iron cooking pan. An iron cooking pan. Where can I find an iron cooking pan? Mmm. This is a mystery. Alright, I guess we'll head back down into the leasing office. Use a screwdriver. Soft enough to chip away, but something's wrong here. What the, what is this? The plaster looks like, it's a key. 
What's it? Why is it in the wall? In the wall itself, the plaster must have been mixed with the rusty water from the old pipe. It's the only thing that could cause this. So I have the key then? Okay. So what's the key for? Perfect. Perfect. This figure looks like it's made of pewter. Based on its age, even its lead base can definitely be melted down to the stove top. Oh! Hey! Look at that! Can we get into the third drawer? No, the key doesn't fit for that. Okay, so the key doesn't fit in the third drawer. We have something to melt down, but we don't have a pan. Back into the back into this. Okay, so what's this key for? Is, you know, the door is locked. It's locked. We know that much. Let me get my mouse out of the way. That's 204. So we still need to find a pan, right? Because we don't have a pan. But I did find a key. The key didn't go to the drawer. But maybe the key went to this here. Ha ha ha. 201. All right. What? Evil demons gonna be inside this place. It's a bit humid and warm here. I suppose I could hang up my jacket for a bit. I can always come back for it later. Okay. I guess we'll hang our jacket up. I don't know why we would need to, but rather not look inside. Wait. Okay. It's an old gas oven. Open the oven door. Hey! I cast there and walk. Walk is similar to the one used to the science experience when with a child. A heavy duty walk like this would be perfect for melting down something like zinc or lead. Hey. It's a bit heavier than I thought. A small table with junk on it and under it. Nothing of note. A map of the building. Once I can get that P, uh, PDA update, I'll be able to check the map and even annotate where items I can carry are. Various papers, folders, office supplies, and notes indicate that this must be the building manager's apartment. There's a key here with 205 sketched on it. Nice! And the building manager's here! So, uh... It looks like a thing chasing me in a strange way. Oh, great. Enter the bedroom. Sure, why not? Old military outfit. A journal in the nightstand. Uh, it's a handwritten in Mandarin. I should be able to read most of it. Okay. This tradition seems to be about the building manager's life. It talks a lot about the family in China and not much else. I suppose it's been torn out, but it, but I can keep the entries recorded in my journal app. Cool. Judging by the frame, the man in the portrait was very important. I don't know who he is, but they get an uneasy feeling looking at him. Nice thing with some junk on it. Uh, the light isn't working. Nothing else of interest here. An offering shrine. There's more dust and grime built up. Here than anywhere else in the apartment. It looks as though the shrine went unused long before the building became abandoned. Hmm. I, I don't know how much I can hold. Uh, damaged photo frame? The frame, the photo frame's empty and the glass is shattered. Shrines like this need a photo to show who you're making offerings to. Interesting. Okay. It's a bathroom. Uh, Creating mold and smells that are not inhaled or generated. Hmm. Yeah, I don't look inside. 
Jacket means so much to me, I can never leave without it. What was the point of taking off the jacket? Just so I could? Or because I could? I wonder if I can kill him if I can make an offering of his picture. Hmm. I'm going to go back in that room real quick here. Because I want to see something. Because that his photo was on the wall. It's a little bit bigger than I would think we would need. But this guy right here. It looks a lot like that thing in the strange way. Wait a minute. There's a slight bulge in the image. There seems to be something hidden behind it. An another piece of a photo. It looks like it matches with the other one. Ha ha! Alright, that was in the bedroom, right? Yeah. Now... Oh, I can't? No, that one doesn't seem to be... with the other one. Hold on a second. Part two. So I don't have part one of the photo. I assume. I think that's what it's telling me. I don't have part one of the of the photo. Okay. So I need part one. Then I could probably kill or send him to the afterlife. There's a Betamax tape here. It seems to be falling behind the nightstand. A Betamax tape? What do I do with that? Okay. Must be something to play it on, I assume. At some point. But I still don't have the other picture of the photo. So I can't... It's part of a photograph. Aha! Uh -huh. Does that go with... I wonder, can I put it into the frame? No. So I have two pieces of photograph. So I can't... Yeah, there's nothing else I can interact with in here besides this, which I can't seem to do anything with. Okay. It seems like you have to search things like several times to be able to find, you know, an old teacup. Yeah. That much we got. What's this? A third part of the photo. Oh my goodness. How many pieces of the photo do we need to find? There's a tape dispenser on the deck. If I could piece together these photo parts, I may be able to get some answers. A photo of a Chinese family, I'm not sure who they are, but they clearly connected to the man who lived in the apartment. Okay, so now... <laughs> now can I go put their pictures in here? Yes. Now we need to find a way to make an offering. Don't... Okay, okay, I think I understand what's needed. Maybe giving an offering to that family will ease their spirits here. Place the offering cup. Now I just need Josh sticks, which I should have. Better find... Okay, I know where Josh sticks are. All right. There's some right outside this door. There's some right over here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, we can go back and make the offering. Can I do anything with this? It's a bag filled with rice. It's a bag filled with rice. No, nothing to note on that. Ah, oh, it's broken neck guy again. Juke, juke, juke. Oh, I guess I can't juke him. Uh, space... Oh, game over. Cool. We lost. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have our auto save. Hopefully it saved. Where did it save at? Oh, great. Uh, wait a minute. No, I've already read that. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Go back to the main menu real quick. Continue. Oh, this was... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I need some molten metal. 
All right, dude, what do I have? What do I have? Oh, my gosh. All right. <sighs> we'll get this done real quick. Dang. I thought I could juke him. I thought maybe, like, I could just, you know, bolt past him, but clearly not. No, nope, there's no bolting going on here. I need to go back downstairs. All right, so we need to put screwdriver in there. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Got it. Perfect. And then I can open up, not that, leave that alone. Open up drawer three. Oh, I don't have the thing to open up drawer three. Wait a minute, what does this say? Some papers in the media device. I wonder if I had that Betamax tape, I could play there. I need to get back to what I was doing. Uh, um, yeah, we found the key, right? So we have the key now. We have the offering. The pan and everything is in that one area. But now, how am I supposed to get past that guy? I mean, once he shows up in the room, I need to make sure to quick save and quick save often. Remember, everybody, quick save and quick save often in this game because you can't juke the uh, the ghosts. No juking allowed. All right. Hey, let's hang up our jacket again, because it's hot in here. Nothing. I don't want to look inside. Old gas stove. We got our walk. Take it. Boom. Heavier than I thought. It's all right. Uh, nothing of note on the table. Map the building. Good, good, good. We got our map. We got a key. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, nothing but key. T so I got to go interact with the... So I need to go into the bedroom. I need to interact with the with this first. All right, so now I can. Yeah, so I got the Betamax tape. Journal, read the journal entry. Got it. Open up the pocket. Got the picture. Uh, nothing else in here. Then the other piece of the picture. The other piece of the picture. Now I can tape it together. Got it taped. Um, I can put the photo on there, but I need the sticks. But I could probably only pick up the sticks after I put the photo on there. Right. <clears throat> That's what we've determined here. Place the photo on the frame. Place the offering cup. Now I just need joysticks. Yeah. There was nothing of interest here. And there's a bag of rice. What can I do with the rice? I don't know. I need my jacket back on. Can't go without my jacket. <clears throat> All right. Got my sticks. Okay, now, save it. <laughs> now we're back where we were. Save it. All right, so now we can go in. So, I mean, he shows up here, right? Yeah. Can I do anything with the bag of rice? Throw rice at him. What if I take my jacket off? I can't take my jacket off. What if he comes out? Ah ha ha! Yeah, you don't know where I'm at, buddy. Where did I go? You just mosey on by. Wait, what? Oh shoot. Woo! <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna be like a whole little mini game there. You just keep going, keep moving. Yeah, you go, you go do that down there. Ugh, the noises. Ugh. Oh, cracking and stuff. All right, go.
Place the sticks. Come on, where is it? I forgot I threw it out when I ran out of gas. I saw an ashtray in the main room. Maybe there's another lighter out there. Oh, come on. Seriously? Another lighter? Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, shoot, I'm going to need a lighter and so, or some matches. Dang it. Uh, okay, I'm going to quick save real quick. Hopefully, I don't want to put myself in a predicament there, but we're going to quick save. Um, man, that guy's going to be out there. How am I going to get him? Rice. What? Oh. Oh, the, there's the lighter. Okay. It was out here. I thought it was out in the hallway. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I pray for you. Send you an offering. Oh, there he is. Whoa. None of this feels possible, but there's a way out of here. I doubt I'll get there easily. For now, it looks like I'm going to have to pay as much attention to surviving as finding an exit. All right. But now he's at peace, right? Now he's at peace. Usually the cup's already full of ash, but I bet something green would work just as well. What? Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on, quick save real quick. So who are these people? I already gave an offering for the whole family, the whole fam. Uh, everybody's got an offering, everybody gets one. Alright, so that guy's gone now. I got a bag of rice and a cup for an offering. We're in a quick save. I don't know if there's a ghost. No. Okay. So, okay. Now I got everything I need for the stove, right? Everything I need for the stove. So I can go back into that uh in here and i can uh melt this down make a key use the walk uh yep we got the figure melt it down on the stove still need to wait take several minutes to melt i st still need to wait Uh, still need to wait. Okay, I mean, like, how long are we waiting? Hmm. Oh, okay. Now it's done. Now I'm just gonna hold it in my hands. And <laughs> use. There we go. That should do it. And I just need to put the uh, let the key cool a bit. Still needs to cool. Hey, we just we just like took hot and you know molten zinc and threw it into the machine. I mean, we got hands. Got it. Let's see if we can get to two hundred six and get out of this place. All right. 
All right. We still don't have a key for this trunk, or, or I need to find a way to unlock the box. Yeah, we don't have anything for the box. I don't know uh, of any way to get into the box. Maybe we'll find something later. I don't know. All right, quick save. All right, let's, let's go check out what's in this room, shall we? 206 is down this hallway. That's 205. Uh, did we never go into this? We never went into this room. Okay, we're going to save it real quick. Because 206 is the room that we need to go into. But what's in 205? That's the... Oh, uh, where am I? Why don't I have a... What kind of crazy room is this? Oh, I can record my process. I need to find more tapes. Oh. Do I have to use a Betamax tape every time I want to save? Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. It's like old Resident Evil where you got to find the ribbons. All right. Let's let's do it. I mean, let's at least save the game, you know, without the quick saves. But the, the regular game allows you to quick save, so you really don't need to use these. But I wonder, did it use the Betamax tape? It did. No, no, it didn't. I have them right here. So I can just hold on to this. I wonder if you play, like, the more um, uh, difficulty versions of the game, if you have to find them like old Resident Evil, where you have to find the ribbons, and in this case, the, the Betamax tapes. So this is 206. Use the 206 key. It's unlocked. In we go. What is that over there? Can I interact with that? Another Jade Bangle. Okay, so the Jade Bangle allows me to dodge the ghost. Because uh, I dodged that first one and it broke. So I assume that's what it allows me to do. And this must be the same hole from the crawl space. There's a blood staining the edge. Oh, and that was that. She's crying while holding onto something. A small piece of paper made of photograph. I suppose I'd be traumatized if we were being stalked by my Billy Manager as well. Right? <laughs> right. Uh, emptiness part looks like the tenant here moved out before the building was abandoned. Now there's some mail appears to be left behind. Nothing looks particularly important to me though. Oh, we got like a whole thing going on here, huh? Like a scolding. Police officer appears to be taking notes. Oh, it's a police officer. Uh, but I can't read much of its writing. Collaborated alibi. Person is non-suspect. Family member. Suspect in what? What exactly happened here? Oh. Just a small bathroom. Though on the inside, there's a heavy-duty lock on the door. This poor girl must have been terrified. Oh, my goodness. It's crazy. And did a ghost just enter in this place? Check the folder. It's a folder full of information regarding the, an orphanage in Portland. In 1968, Chua was adopted by Hank and Farah. Uh, most of these papers outline her adoption status and details about her health. Nothing here about Fan. The envelope from the Seattle Police Department, Detective James Katzburn, it's addressed to Tracy. What is that? Mc McClong? McClaw? Mc I don't know. McClue? It appears to have been opened already. Dear Tracy, I did quite a bit of digging on Tony. I don't believe that what I'm about to give you will need any more commentary from me. I hope this information helps you find some solace. If there's anything I can do for you, please reach out. I guess you should update your name in my file to... Yeah. There's a small packet inside. The pages are mostly photocopies of legal documents. Many appear to be from the San Diego Refuge Center, all dated from the late 1960s. Two names appear frequently on these papers, though. So that's the girl, H2. Oh, okay, so these are two, two girls? Two and ten? 
It appears that Chua was moved to the ordinance in Portland while Thane, her fan, was transferred to a special institution for children suffering from extreme mental trauma. There seems to be something missing from the last page. There's a small paper tear from a staple being ri ripped out. What the heck was that? There's something here now. Looks like a mummified finger. The end of the bone's almost like a key. Oh, I can get into the bathroom now? No? There's nothing else to interact with in here? What am I supposed to do with a finger? Do I have it? It's a lock pick. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, it is a lock pick. Odd, when I picked it up, it looked like a human f uh, finger bone. <sighs> lock pick. What would I need a lock pick for? What was locked? A quick save, real quick. I, I can't remember what was locked. I guess we'll go out into the hallway. Whoa. I already know I know I already I already opened the hallway door. This can't be right. What in the world is going We got flying chairs. Whoa, something's behind me. Run, lady, run. Well that was the bat what the heck? What did I pick up? I don't even know what I picked up. Oh, another Betamax tape. That's what I picked up. Okay. Now I'm back in the hallway. Alright, let's go into the creepy Betamax room. Is there anything beyond this? No. Alright, and let's save our game. Woo! All right, that <laughs> this game is really good. I'm really enjoying it a lot. So that's going to be it for part two. I hope you all enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing. Uh, I will continue playing this game. This game's a lot of fun. I really like it. It's very interesting um, what's going on, and it's creepy. So love it. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you're playing this game right now or uh, if this looks like a game you might enjoy. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's on Steam. I think it's on. I think it's on everything. Uh, you know, Xbox, PlayStation, Switch. So, you know, where, whatever you prefer to play on. You know, uh, definitely suggest picking it up. It's a pretty cool game. But anyway, thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.